You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Got a pretty easy one here. How do you leverage a job offer to get what you want out of your current job? All right. Very simple. Um, you, you've already done the hard work. It's already done. Uh, you already have that asset. It, it, it's The hard part is getting the other job offer. Then once you have that, all you have to do is go to your boss and say, look, uh, I got another job offer and they're offering this, uh, you know, well, you can't, no, actually, I take that back. Say, I have another job offer. Uh, it's quite an increase in pay. Uh, and this is where it depends on whether or not you, you want to. You say, I really enjoy working here. Can you, you know, can you make it worth my while? Uh, and then, you know, but if you don't like your current job, it's like, yeah, you just go work the other job. But regardless, the whole point is that none of this matters unless you're willing to walk out that door and start working the other job. Like some people, they get another job. Like this happened to me a ton of times. Like I'd be working a, a reasonably high paying uh, a banking gig and it just couldn't look like a fucking... And I'd just go get another job so I could survive. And so you're kind of in a week and I didn't want to stay at the job, but let's just say you got this other job. It doesn't pay as much. You can live off of it, but you're going to use this as a way to leverage. Well, it kind of has to be higher paying. Like you kind of have to be willing to work that job and walk out the door and go and leave. Uh, your old job behind. Now, again, it all depends on how you and your boss get along. What kind of work history do you have there? Um, you know, if if you want, ideally, you'd like to have the good business reference. Um, most of the places I work, you wouldn't want a business reference from them. So, do you hate your boss? Do you not hate your boss? But the right way to do it would be because you got to give the other party, you got to give your boss a chance to offer you even more what the company's uh, offering you. And this again, this is why I always say you should always be applying for jobs because, you know, same thing with women. It's better to have two women because then if one gets a little lippy, it's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to say hi to Susie Q over here. Uh, or if you really like that one, but she's just getting out of line a little bit, you know, like you say, you know what, you're going to stop it with this, I don't know, what, what do girls do? You're going to stop it with this nagging. Well, I'm gonna go out and hang out with Susie Q, and then um, but you gotta be willing to leave. You gotta be like, fine, get out of here. All right, see ya, bye. So that's that's kind of the, I guess the second hardest thing about using a job to occur a second job offer to leverage what you want on your current job. But you gotta be willing to walk. Now there's other things that you could do. It's not all about the money. Um, maybe benefits. Maybe working from home. Maybe some other work schedule. Maybe. A stipend uh, that you could go, I don't know how much you make, but if you're, if you're higher paid, higher highly compensated, say, I'm, I'm sick of tired of commuting, I wanna, you're going to get me an apartment next door or something like that, month-to-month -month rent. There's, so there's all these non-salary things uh, that you can negotiate and try and get. That may make your, you know, they certainly can make your, your job a lot better. Um, so, you know, come up with a list. It's not always about money, but come up with some things and things that like aren't really necessarily going to cost them money. Like see if you can't work from home. That really doesn't cost them money. I know they say it does, but it doesn't say, all right, what about, um, you know, a flexible work schedule? Can I come in on the weekends and go home at 2 p.m. on the weekdays? You know, get in in writing too, because then it, well, why does he get to do it? The fucking, <sighs> and they were, that's the other thing is like, Baby boomers, I loved it. You know, they lecture you on when you're a kid, as they should. They should. They lecture you about being a child. You know, not everything's fair. And then when I grow up, they act the exact same way. Here's like this 50 year old broad. This is when I was in my 20s. Why well, did he get to do it? It's like, what did you? I bet you you do that to your kids too, don't you? Fucking hypocrite. So that's that's why I would do it. But again, the key thing of it matters unless you're willing to walk. So you gotta be willing to walk. All right, guys, got questions? Assholeconsulting.com, world's only professional asshole. Tune in to the Cleary Podcast. Read Captain Capitalism at blogspot.com. Finally going to get around writing some stuff this week. Um, I was tired. I was tired. But we'll see you kids later. Toodles.